St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Our celebrant today is the Vice Rector of the Redemptoris Mater Seminary in Toronto, Father Thomas Skabinski. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from three donors. The first is an anonymous donor from Toronto, Ontario. She offers this Mass for the deceased members of the Kearns family and the Irwin family. The second is Adelaida C. Rubiano from Winnipeg, Manitoba. She offers this Mass in memory of her husband, Roberto Rubiano Jr., who died on April 19, 2000, her parents Basilio and Maria Calacar, and her brother Vicente. Also with thanks to O'Reilly Denko, Paula Welch, and Ford to her family. The third are Brian and Stella Manella from Minto, New Brunswick. They offer this Mass for the deceased members of the Manella and Hackey family. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. The Lord invites us today to come to him to be strengthened by the bread that comes down from heaven. At the beginning of this celebration, let us ask the Lord for pardon and forgiveness for our sins so that we may worthily celebrate this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Christ, have mercy. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in this holy season, we come to know the full depth of your love. You have freed us from the darkness of error and sin. Help us to cling to your truths with fidelity. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. An angel of the Lord said to Philip, Get up and go toward the south, to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a wilderness road. So he got up and went. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. Then the spirit said to Philip, go over to this chariot and join it. So Philip ran up to it and heard the official reading the prophet Isaiah. Philip asked, do you understand what you are reading? The official replied, how can I unless someone guides me? and he invited Philip to get in and sit beside him. Now the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this, Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and like a lamb silent before its shearer, so he does not open his mouth. In his humiliation justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken away from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, About whom, may I ask you, does the prophet say this, about himself or about someone else? 
Then Philip began to speak, and starting with this scripture, he proclaimed to him the good news about Jesus. As they were going along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, here is water. What is to prevent me from being baptized? And Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, you may. And he replied, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He commanded the chariot to stop, and both of them, Philip and the eunuch, went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, and went on his way rejoicing. But Philip found himself at Azotus, and as he was passing through the region, he proclaimed the good news to all the towns until he came to Caesarea. The Word of the Lord. among the living and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Come done for me. I cried aloud to him, and he was extolled with my tongue. be God, because he has not rejected my prayer, or removed his steadfast love from me. this bread will live forever. 